Can you beat Terraria Master Mode as a summoner? Of course you can. I've seen a dude beat Terraria with just his toes. It's more of a question of can I beat Terraria Master Mode as a summoner? I have never beaten Terraria in Master Mode. So why not combine that with summoner and let's go on this adventure and see if I can beat the game with both. All right, I've got enough Flinks Fur to make our beautiful Flinks Fur coat. Oh yeah, look at the defense upgrade, one defense. But that's not it. We got the Flinks Fur hood, baby. Let's put this on. We're probably gonna lose defense. Okay, it's fine. We only lost two defense. And we can wear whatever pants we want. So honestly, I might just throw on like gold pants. Why not get the highest defense we can get? And it says grants a free Flinks minion. That's the set bonus. Increases your max number of minions by one. So I do get one more minion. Let's bring in the monkey. And that's about it there. We get a little bit of extra damage. But look at this. Minion variety buff. 9% minion variety damage bonus. So the more variety we have, the more damage we can do. So I think we should do something here. I don't know what it is, but do something. We're fighting the brain. I accidentally spawned him. I didn't know that uh, breaking the orbs carried over to the brain. Because I broke two eater orbs. And it carried over straight to the brain. That's kind of crazy. Loki took a lot of damage because of it kind of not fair i ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> he low-key cheated off like 50 health right there but it's all good it's the brain i should be able to beat him no problem this is honestly would be more embarrassing losing to the brain than it would be losing to anything else because the brain i still consider one of the worst story bosses ever he's next to the golem but the golem has gotten a little bit better so you know the golem's got that on his side it's really easy to tell which one's which because the one that has my uh, summon target on it is the one that's real <laughs> so he's kind of selling himself a little bit maybe they should fix that in the future i don't know but for me perfect there we go brain insanely easy we have made it to the b area look at this this is sick it's like a whole like b kingdom beehive i guess what kind of goodies do they got here though what y'all got for me oh okay so they got a bee manation straight up meaning that we don't exactly have to even find the queen bee we could just spawn in our own honestly it might come to that i don't know we'll see like what the rest of this area is looking like but until then we're chilling we don't have to worry about spawning her in i wonder if there's any special loot or not let's get a little bit deeper see what's popping with the rest of this area it seems like we have a big room right here oh there's the larva this is not a good area to fight the queen bee if i'm being honest with you <laughs> look at this area there's not a lot of area to move around so i really don't know we might have to clear this out a little bit i mean worst comes to worst if she does beat us we have a beam nations to respawn and use somewhere else but let me clear this area out a bit and let's see if we can take her on i really don't know if i could beat the queen bee but we're gonna try our best here because i feel like our defense is a little weak but at the same time I, actually, I don't even have anything else to say. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. At the same time, what? I don't know. I could do this. I could throw Icor at things. So that's what I'm going to try and do, okay? We're going to try and get these Icor pops. Boom. And just like that, summons should go crazy. Go ahead, summons. Dude, I'm already almost dead. I got to pay attention a little bit here. Got to pay attention to what we're doing. We're honestly not doing too bad. We just got to make sure we maintain our health bar. Getting a little scary here as we get her a little bit lower. She's starting to spam way more. I'm gonna need her to spawn in the bees. Yes, sir. And we're gonna need to get some heart drops. At least one. At least a single heart drop. There we go. Perfect. Hit her with the Icor, which the Icor is from our squire, if you're wondering where I'm getting it from. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's feeding us with the hearts. We gotta be ready, though. She's about to go into dash mode. I feel it. Oh, she didn't go into dash mode. She just went straight back to the bees. Oh, and there, there it goes. She tried to catch my ass off guard. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Dodge it out. Dodge it out. Finish strong now. Finish strong now. We got a potion coming. Dodge it out. Oh my god. We got our potion popped. And now just finish her off. Finish her off. Finish her off, bro. Finish her off. Jesus. That got a little scary. I ain't gonna lie to you. She was moving way faster than I was able to cooperate with. But there you go. She's dead. I'm gonna dip out of this area. 
because if I do fight her again, just in case I need more stuff from her, which I probably do, uh, we're gonna fight her above ground or just in a big, way bigger area. But there you go, Queen B dead. All right, with the Queen B dead, we can go ahead and craft our next armor set. Now you may be like, gamers, what about the obsidian set? We will probably rock that later, maybe for the wall of flesh. But for now, let's make this. We have exactly enough. So shout out the Queen B RNG blessed us. We can't make a hornet staff though. But I don't really care. It's fine for now. We got some uh, replacements as you can see. We got, we got a lot of replacements. But Queen B staff, let's get her or Queen B armor. Boom increase summon damage we get more minions more damage is beautiful how many more minions though let's see we got one we got two and i three maybe maybe four let's see no nah, okay just three i think this is what we're gonna rock we're gonna rock uh no flinks sorry flinks we're gonna rock this trio and let's see how that trio works uh there's also some other stuff the queen bee did drop not its accessories i don't really care about these accessories but it dropped bee queen's crown equipable summons a bee assistant to fight for you let's let's put it on and just like that we got another little thing helping us out now this does take up a summon slot because our thing is gone uh do i have like a spawner test this out on something any like i could do loose monitors absolutely not <laughs> okay I, I just want to test her out on something i want to see if she actually fights like does she fight for real oh right, here we go is she fighting i don't know what she does <laughs> oh she throws a little bucket and a little honey slime pops out multiple so she's like something that i summon that summons things that's kind of crazy okay i'm messing with it but yeah in terms of progress I don't even know where the hell we're at. <laughs> oh, we got boss checklist. Okay. We still haven't fought the blood moon, which I do want to get the frog from, uh, but who knows if I'll use the frog. We'll see. And then uh, there's the old one's army. I do want to do that. Goblin army. I do want to do that. Of course, I want to do all that. We are just kind of waiting for all that stuff to happen, though. So there's not much I can... Uh control there and wait in those well i guess we could if i went out of my way we could start them but honestly we might just try and do deer clops it's either old one's army next if i find the tavern keep or deer clops because i want to get my hands on a sentry i need all the extra dps i could get my hands on and i also never use the houndia shootia so it would be nice to get it early the only thing is the deer clops loki might be a hard fight in master mode because like i don't know bro i i never liked deer clops boss fight because he's so weird you have to be like very close to him because if you get far away he legit just doesn't take damage but at the same time you can also like cheese them some way i think if you stand like underneath them in a certain way i don't remember we're gonna figure something out here though we are going to fight the deer clops hopefully i can do this i low-key tried practicing against it in a custom world another world because i was trying to figure out like what's a good strategy for the deer clops and i never knew you could walk underneath his legs the thing is you can't dash underneath his legs because for some reason with the, the shield of cthulhu since it's a weapon and you can dash into things you bump into him even though his legs don't have a hitbox so we'll see how this goes here i don't have a lot of faith in beating it but you know you, you never know you never know maybe he just miraculously dies also he is one of the bosses that uh what's it called despawns or doesn't despawn is what i should say this is what we're gonna do we're gonna slide under his legs any chance i get except for when he hits me like that then that shit hurts hold up okay Oh, you see what I mean though with him being kind of kind of tough like this dude gonna hurt you gotta actually like figure out all his abilities and read them and also he freezes you <laughs> I forgot that he freezes you oh god I set my spawn over here so if I die I can come back no problem oh shit it's not looking good it's not looking good it's not looking good no we're good we're good calm down calm down let's get through the house keep it going we're just gonna have to take the hits is what it looks like take the hits we got 20 seconds 20 seconds we can do it oh that shit hurt i ain't gonna lie to you we can do it hold up slide past them do a little jump okay it's looking good it's looking good i think this is doable let's get in between his legs again pause i don't know i'm just gonna create some distance but psych i'm sliding underneath his legs do it one more time but this time let's go far because yeah i had a feeling he was gonna do the big one okay we can heal we're good we're still chilling now the thing is is my boy here gonna hook me up with the houndia shootius which is the whole reason i'm fighting him i know i could get my hands on a uh probably even better weapon if i just go for the old one's army <laughs> but for the sake of me never using the houndia shootius i want to use it so cough it up my boy wait hold up is there a way that i could just just make it no okay fine that's fine that's fine hold up tiny deer cops we got my boy the little tiny deer cops with us but that gets rid of our queen bee come on 
Come on, how do you shoot this, please? Of course not. Why would it give me that? Okay. No, we can do though. We can run it back after my potions wear off. And I'm going to hope and pray that he drops it this time. Because I only have two spawners. Well, I guess I could buy infinite now. Actually, do I even have a mod where people sell spawners? I don't know. Okay. We beat him again. Boom. Please. Please drop what I'm looking for. Oh my God. It's like he dropped every single thing that I don't want. But this is where we'll end this episode off. I don't. How many bosses did we do? We did the brain. We did the bee. We did the deer cops. It's a very odd trio. But next video, I think will be the video where we enter into hard mode. I'm pretty sure. Because who do we have left? We have the dungeon guardian. We actually have a lot of, or not dungeon guardian. Hell no, I'm not finding no dungeon guardian. We actually have a lot to do uh, in terms of equipment. But yeah, Skeletron and the wall of flesh. And then there's, I still haven't done the goblins or old one's army. I probably won't show the goblin invasion or the blood moon, but maybe the old one's army I'll show off. I don't know. We'll see. But if y'all want to see more, make sure to leave a like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss more in the series there might be like a big gap in between each episode because like i got a lot of terry series i'm working on some that are either like big videos like this or longer videos like this where it's like a whole playthrough some playthroughs where it's literally me streaming the playthrough some playthroughs where it's just me comply literally doing a whole playthrough by myself but just recording little clips stuff like that like there's a lot of stuff going on so make sure to leave a comment telling me you want to see this series continued yeah i hope y'all enjoyed I will see y'all in the next video.